The Aviatrix Sandbox Starter is a community-based and supported tool that deploys cloud and multi-cloud networks in minutes, without any effort. This tool and documentation are available on community.aviatrix.com, so let's all begin by going on that website. Now, once we're there, we're going to type sandbox in the search area and click on the first result that shows up. All of the information you need to know about this tool is included here, such as its cost, support model, and of course, the prerequisites needed to deploy it properly. So let's begin. As you can see here, I've already started on the prerequisites. I have Docker running, I have my Ohio key pair, and I've also subscribed to Aviatrix from the marketplace. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so at the link provided, but then don't click the continue to configuration button after it takes you to the website. Now, with my prerequisites completed, I'm just going to go into the CLI and execute this command to download the prepackaged Docker image. Once I'm done with that, I'm just going to click on this link so I can go and access the sandbox UI. It might ask you to choose between standard and advanced, and you're going to choose standard. And once that's done, you're going to also provide your AWS credentials. At the next step, it's going to ask you for your email address and a password. Take note of your password because it's going to be useful later and just make sure that you've completed the prerequisites that were stated in the website. Next, you're just going to say that yes, the Aviatrix Transit can launch in AWS um, and feel free to check out the debug section just to see what's going on. It might take a little bit of time to process, but once it's done, you're just going to say yes to the next section. Now you're going to put the key pair name that you were supposed to set up in the very beginning. Mine is Ohio key pair. I'm not going to launch the Aviatrix Transit in Azure today. And finally, we're almost done. Um, you can see the private IPs and the public IPs and um, what we're going to do is going to click on this link and it's going to take us to another page um, and this is the actual Aviatrix controller. So everyone's username is going to be admin and the password is actually going to be the one that we provided earlier. So just put that in. Now once you click sign in, you can see that we're at the dashboard and you have these amazing um, little options on the side. You can check your accounts, but what we're going to do is take a look at the gateway just to make sure everything is up and running, um, and it indeed is. And now what you can do is go back to the community sandbox link and then follow the rest of the directions on there, get to know the controller a little bit, and play around with it, and then once you're done, you can go back and click the destroy button to delete everything.